Hi there, welcome back. Today we will create some wipe transitions with color shapes and bars in the edit page. With traveling matte support in the edit page starting from DaVinci Resolve 17, these transitions can be easily achieved in the edit page. The first one we are going to create is the color arrow transition. In the timeline, I have two short video clips with one second overlap, which will be used for the transition. From the generators panel in the effects library, drag a solid color to the timeline and trim the duration to align with transition overlap. In the inspector, change the solid color to red. Make sure the playhead is at the beginning the solid color clip. Switch to the settings tab in the inspector. Set the zoom to 2 and rotate the clip 45 degrees. Mark a keyframe for the position parameter. Turn on the on-screen transform control overlay so that we can adjust the clip position in the viewer. Drag and move the clip to the left until it's all out of the screen and the corner is in the middle. Move the playhead to the last frame of the solid color clip. Hold the shift key and drag the clip to the right until the full screen is fully covered with the red color. Shift dragging helps to lock the changes in horizontal direction only. A new keyframe is automatically added to the position parameter as we change the clip position. Right click the keyframe button, set the keyframe to ease in mode. Click this little arrow and go back to the first keyframe, right click, Change the ease mode to ease out. Play the timeline, the animation feels a bit slow for my taste. With the timecode shortcut, move the playhead forward 20 frames from the clip beginning. Click this keyframe icon to show the keyframe track. Drag the ending keyframe to the playhead position. I think this is good now. As we are done with keyframing and position adjustment, we can turn off the on-screen control for now. Hold the Alt key and drag the solid color clip and duplicate another one. Press the period key twice to move the new clip two frames forward. Go to the inspector, in the generator tab, set the color to yellow. Alt drag the second color clip and create another copy above. Move the clip forward two frames. Change the color to blue. We now have the arrow animation moving across the screen. Make another copy by alt dragging the color clip on the top. Move forward two frames. Go to the settings tab in the inspector. Change the composite mode to alpha. This clip will be the traveling mat. Go to the File tab, we can rename the clip to Arrow Mat. Move the second video clip up to the very top above the mat clip. Align the beginning with the mat clip. In the inspector, change the video clip's composite mode to foreground. To set the arrow semi transparent, we can select all three arrow clips and change the composite mode to color. All right, we now have completed a nice color arrow transition. Next, we will create this split wipe transition with leading color bars. As we did previously, drag a solid color to the timeline. Trim and align to the transition area. Change the color to orange. In the settings tab, Set crop top to 540, so that it covers the lower half of the image. Move the playhead to the end of the clip. Mark a keyframe for the position parameter. Go to the beginning of the clip. Change the position X to move the clip left until it's fully out of screen. Right click and set the ease mode to ease out. Click the arrow and go to the next keyframe. Right click and set to ease in mode. 
Drag another solid color to the timeline, trim and align with the previous color clip. Change the color to green. Go to Settings tab, set the crop bottom to 540, which keeps the top half of the color clip. Move to the end of the clip. Mark a keyframe for the position parameter. Go to the beginning and move the clip right until it's out of screen. Right click and set the ease mode to ease out. Click the arrow and go to the next keyframe, set to ease in. You can also adjust the keyframe curve to achieve the animation effect of your liking. This looks good now. Select both color clips. Hold the Alt key and drag to duplicate another two color clips. Press the period key twice to move the clips right two frames. Set composite mode to alpha for both clips. Move the second video clip to the top above the mats and set the composite mode to foreground. If we want to make the color bar semi-transparent, we can change the opacity to achieve the transparency effect. We can also stagger the mats so that the bars have different widths. That's it. This is a smooth split wipe transition with color bars. Here is another transition I would like to demo today. I call it a rainbow transition. Instead of using the solid color generator, we will use text symbols to create the traveling mats. Similar to what we did earlier, drag a text plus clip to the timeline. Trim and align the clip. Copy a circle symbol from the character map. I use the circle from font webdings. Paste the circle symbol to the text field, set the font to webdings. Change the font color to red. Turn on the fusion on screen overlay. Move the circle to the bottom right corner. Make sure the playhead is at the beginning of the clip. Mark a keyframe for the font size parameter. Go to the last frame of the clip. Enter 5 in the size field so that we can adjust the slider to increase the text size until it covers the entire image. To add some glowing effect, add the Open FX Drop Shadow Filter from the effects to the text clip. Change the shadow color to white and increase the shadow strength to 1. Set the drop distance to 0. Alt drag the text clip and create 7 more clips, stagger them up on top of each other. So that the beginning of each clip is one frame ahead of the previous one. Change their colors to those ones as we see in a rainbow. Orange. Yellow. Green. Blue. Indigo. Violet. The last one will be the traveling mat, we can set the color to white. Switch to the settings tab, change the composite mode to alpha. Move the incoming video clip to the very top and change the composite mode to foreground. Play the timeline and we now have a glowing rainbow transition. To make the rainbow semi-transparent, Select all rainbow text clips. Right click and create a new compound clip. We can name it Rainbow. With the rainbow clip selected, go to the inspector. Adjust the opacity as needed. I think 70 is good. All right, we now have created a rainbow transition with a text circle symbol as the traveling mat in the edit page. Using this technique, we can create all kinds of shape transitions using different symbols, either with multiple color bars or a simple border line. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.